Deepak, as a, someone who's trained in scientists, I have difficulty believing that any possible way I could survive bodily death. But I hope I do, and I would like to explore different ways, whether through religion or philosophy or other things, that that could be conceivable. I know you believe in a cosmic consciousness that's fundamental to the universe and that in some way we do survive death. So if that's the case, and we give you all these radical assumptions, what's it going to feel like? If you identify with your body and your mind, then this particular entity that I'm seeing will disappear as if it never was. So far, I'm not liking this. Yeah, but... I'm not. If, because then you're identifying with this body, which wasn't this body even 10 years ago. Not sure. Okay? So if you haven't survived your identity in this lifetime, how are you going to survive it? Well, I have a mental unity. Physical, huh? I, have a, I don't have a physical unity, I have a mental unity. That mental uti uh, unity is what? It's the continuity of memory. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. Where is that memory? Well, I, I, I don't care where it is. I want to know, is that going to continue? If, if, if you believe that I have some sort of a, a, a hope of immortality... If you understand that there's duality in space, uh, just like space, I mean, just like particle and wave duality, there is an aspect of you that is non-local, and there's an aspect of you which is local. Okay, I, I sense the local one. Yeah, but you do know that science today acknowledges that the universe is non-local. Uh, certainly at the subatomic level. Okay, that's your source. That is your source, non-local. The ground of your being is the ground of all being. Okay, if I go along with that, I still want to ask you, so what are the implications of that for life after death? What am I going to feel like? I know what I feel like now. I, knew, I, I, I remember what I feel like Birth as a child. Birth and death are punctuation points in the continuum of life. Birth and death are opposites, not life and death. Okay, okay. so when people say, Life is the opposite of death. I think that's a wrong way of looking at it. Life is the continuum of birth and death. Okay. And you are that. Okay? Uh, everything else is an imagination, right? Life is this present moment. Okay? The past and future have always existed in imagination. Okay, now, I don't remember anything before I was, you know, four or five Do years old. Do you remember old. what you had three weeks ago no. for dinner? No, I mean... But you no. had dinner, right? Right. right. So, right. we don't remember it, right? A lot of things I okay. don't remember. Okay, do you sure. remember what you, you know, did on your 16th birthday? No. Right. You don't, right? No. But you had a 16th right. birthday. Right. Right. So, memory is actually reconstruction. Okay. And these, are, these memories are what recycle as space-time events that are perceived as body and mind. So the only solution to life after death is to recognize experientially there's a part of you that is timeless. Okay? And now even science, you know, time and timelessness are becoming complementarities. You say, you know, we give a datable event to the Big Bang? How silly! How can you give a datable event to something that happened when there was no time? Well, it's relative to today. You it's can... relative today from Earth, spinning at Backward, this speed, right, right, right. around the sun. It's a totally, you know, notational idea. Yeah. Take me back, though, to what I'm going to feel like if I survive death. What am I going to feel like? Am I, I'm not gonna, am I going to know I'm me? It depends on your state of awareness. If Awareness then or awareness now? Awareness as you cultivate it now. You go to sleep every night, right? Right. No thought. No right. memories, nothing. Right. Dreamless sleep. Dream, dream, dream is there, right, but right. There's, a, there's deep sleep where right, right, there's right. nothing, right? Dreamless sleep, right. Dreamless sleep. You wake up in the morning, I'm you back. remember. I'm back to me. And you recognize your wife, right, you right, recognize... Right. So, 
you can go into the depths of being and still have a sense of existence. In fact, if you cultivate that now, which is part of my spiritual practice, I cultivate awareness in deep sleep. Okay? And then I, when I'm really able to cultivate that awareness, I can witness my body in deep sleep. When I cultivate that state of awareness, I can witness my body in the dream state and my mind in the dream state. And I recognize that I couldn't be that body and mind because I'm observing it. Okay? And that, what I'm observing is changes from moment to moment. Okay? I'm not, I'm the alert witness of the roles I'm playing. Right now, Robert Lawrence Kuhn is a role you are playing. Even in a single day, you play many roles, sure, right? Sure, you're a sure. husband, you're a father, right. you're a son, brother, sister, writer, doctor. It's my destiny to play an infinity of roles, but I'm not the roles I'm playing. When I get to that level of awareness, I have no fear of death. I'm like a great Shakespearean actor, and then I do a good job. One day Macbeth, next day Julius Caesar, whatever. I don't take it seriously. But will I know I'm me? The same me that you is You will now. know yourself as pure existence. There is no individual me to begin with. Are you and I going to merge together? I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> I don't think there's... Uh, th see, again... I like talking it, to you, by the way. You're a good friend, but I'm not, sure I, wanna, map, I'm not sure I want to be part of you. In the map that I'm creating, and this is a map, right? Remember, science is also a map, so we have to use maps because, you know, Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to sure. navigate Marvel, the territory. Yeah. There's deep sleep. There's dream state. There's this waking state. Right. Okay. You say this is real. But most of the time, in this state, you are either in the future or in the past. Right? Every thought is either about the past or the future. Okay. So you're in a waking dream right now. You don't, you say this is real because you're in it. Last uh, night, your dream okay. was real because you were in it. Or, 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 I, I may or may not agree with that, but, uh, but okay. uh, let me but complete asking, the map. Let I'm, me complete the I'm map. I'm asking then, you when I'm, when I'm dead and when, I'm, when, when I have I'm life asked, death, I'm will answering I be the, same? the question will if you let same? me answer it. Sleep, dream, sleep, dream, waking state. There's a fourth state of consciousness. It's called transcendent consciousness. When I experience me as beyond subject-object split. Beyond the fourth state is cosmic consciousness. When I see myself as the wholeness that is. And beyond that is unity consciousness, where I recognize that the observer here and the observer there, and by the way, it's not in the body, okay, it's non-local, is the same being. I don't want so, to share my, uh, m myself. That's your problem. <laughs>